Hello, my name is Gary Reinhardt. I'm a geological consultant with Buccaneer Resources here in Houston. I've been with Buccaneer Resources in that capacity for a little over a year now. I'm not an employee of the company, nor do I own any stock. I have no grants, I have no options or warrants. I do have 35 years and plus of experience in the domestic and international venues. Most of that domestic experience has been in the Gulf Coast region of the United States, both onshore and offshore, Texas and Louisiana, as well as the shallow continental shelf and deep water marine. The purpose for my discussion with you today is the new tech logs that Buccaneer is using in its exploration efforts in Lee County, Texas. This is the new tech well off the old Umble number one Vic. Uh, this is the well that we're actually going to offset with our first well. This well was drilled in 1947. Uh, the tools that were used at that time don't have any porosity information, but they did provide uh, SP and resistivity information, which are electrical measurements of the formation. Uh, the new tech is digitizes that information and then is able to, through their experience and through the experience of several decades of exploration in this part of the world, able to then identify zones that might be of interest as far as being hydrocarbon bearing. We know that this well, in fact, did produce a drill stem test of oil from the Buddha formation, which is right here. We, the log is indicating movable hydrocarbons. The resistivity is indicating that we have a resistive formation, which if this were a, a wet formation would be less resistive. Putting hydrocarbons in it makes it more resistive. And then we also have the SP curve, which you can see some deflection towards me here which indicates uh, some amount of permeability. These three things together would say that we have movable hydrocarbon that should flow from this zone. The facts are that Umbel did take three drill stem tests here and did get oil on all three drill stem tests. So we're very excited about duplicating that. What they did not test was they did not test the Austin Chalk zone here, which we see also has apparent movable hydrocarbon. We also see a very nice SP development here, which is unusual for the chalk uh, if we were to go up the hole. And again, indicating some permeability, some resistivity, movable hydrocarbons. And that's why we're interested in this well, because this is an old well. They actually tested oil. We're offsetting this well by about 200 feet, and we intend to establish oil production in Austin Chalk and Buda or both. In addition, I'd like to point out some other things that we see on this Vic number one log. The well was drilled, uh, like I said, back in 1947. What we have here is a well that was drilled very deep for its time in this part of the state. And so there's several deeper horizons that they were evaluating that I'd like to point out to you. Uh, the new tech log indicates that there are some other zones that might have uh, hydrocarbon potential that we will eventually want to look at in this part of our acreage holdings here in this part of Texas. The very, the very next one that we come up is, with is just a few hundred feet below the Buddha, and this is the Edwards zone. The Edwards here, again, shows the same kind of hydrocarbon signatures as we saw further up the hole in the Austin Chalk and the Buddha. The Edwards was not tested, nor did it flow oil in this well. However, Umble drilled the number two Vic and the number one Johnson just uh, about a half a mile away from this well, and both of those wells were, also, were Edwards producers. As we go further down the hole, we see a section that we call the uh, Glen Rose. The Glen Rose section here doesn't look as interesting, but it still indicates that it has some movable hydrocarbon. A, drill, a well drilled structurally higher to this well might, in fact, encounter hydrocarbon. This well indicates that it's mostly wet, but does have some movable hydrocarbon. Let's go a little bit further down. We have another section here that's known as the Pearsall Formation. Uh, again, we have indications here that we might actually have some movable hydrocarbon and may have, in fact, some producibility that uh, Umbel was not able to establish at the time. This is a zone that we will be looking at pretty closely if we, as we drill a deeper well. And then lastly, we have the Sligo Interval. This interval is very interesting. It has excellent permeability. 
It has movable hydrocarbons based on the log analysis. We have a good, pro, good permeability indicated by the SP deflection, and that's why we're very interested in Lee County, and in particular, an offset to the VIC number one well, and to the deeper potential that exists on that, our acreage in this part of the state.